Yet eons ago. Hello, welcome to Glitch Free Gaming. We're playing Hello. Apple Arcade games. I'm Yay. Kieran. I'm joined by Mike. Hooray! And Hello. Paul. Who? Uh, Paul is. You may have recognized them from the podcast a year ago. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he he was the one that was guest starring. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's the, the rotating chair. Just because you guys choose to record on days of the week that end in Y. Well, that's true. And I don't have those we're... available. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I was going to jump in with Sayonara Wild Hearts to start with, mainly because I think Long me and Mike really like this game. So. Yes. yes. This game is like a rhythm, runner, shooter, bunch of different types of genres, hybrid. Yeah, the the last thing that you could call it is rhythm action. It's, uh, yeah. Like, there's definitely rhythm elements, but yeah. it's not the, the priority. Although the music is. Yes, yeah. Um, and also the, the bit that we're seeing at the moment that you're playing through has got a narrator, and I don't know if you picked up who the narrator is? Uh, it says at the end, it's... I don't, is that a spoiler? Because it doesn't say till the end. Alright, okay, well we'll leave it then. Because I know I saw it and was like, wait, what? <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of like a big interactive music video. Yeah. I think the game's yeah, on it probably... Some of it. But not a lot. Yeah, that's fair. I played through the whole thing. I, I really liked it. Yeah, I finished it as well. And then once you finish it, you get to, you can play through the whole thing uninterrupted as one big, sort of, experience. Yeah. And I, I did that as well. It takes about between twenty minutes and half an hour, I think. Not bad. I have listened that's to a bunch good. of the soundtrack for this. It, right, the it's, soundtrack it, is really good. Yeah, it was on Apple Music. They're having some issues just now, but it's meant to be on Apple Music. Oh, All right, okay. Sense. That would make sense. But it's really good. Very poppy. It reminds me of like Robin or you know Carly Rae Jepsen or something like that, like that kind of pop music. It reminds me of. Uh, oh, what were they called? Was it Genkai Rockets, the Heaven yeah, Star? Yeah, I could see that. Uh, yeah, so it has, it's definitely got that kind of Japanese pop feel to it. Yeah, or at least like inspiration. Yeah. It's very good. It's just really visually nice as well. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's very stylish. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why they have to wear masks, so that's... Yeah, it's a bit weird. I don't get... The one thing I don't like about this game, and it's a really, really minor complaint, is that this is the structure. That you do a level, that bumps you back to the menu, and then you go to the next level. Like, you unlock the ability to play everything seamlessly, one after the other, but I feel like that should be the default. Yes, yeah, because it, it does kind of break from the experience. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I will say that I think this game does some really cool, unexpected things towards the end of it. And so we won't yes. show those levels in this because that's kind of the point. But. Yeah, because you kind of get used to, you know, what you're seeing right now. Yeah. And that sort of. It's like a, an on rails type thing, and you're moving left and right to collect the little hearts at this exactly. point. But then it adds things, sometimes it takes things away as well. Um, and sometimes it, it is unexpected, it's just a, an evolution of the level. Yeah. I think maybe we should jump into like one of the later ones. And we'll give a warning, uh, yeah. so if people want to skip it, they can skip it. Yeah. Yes. I'll put timestamps in the description and stuff. I do, I do. I, I'm probably going to get through it all, like both of you guys. At one point, it's worth it. I think this is 
Of all these Apple Arcade games, this and maybe many more ways are the ones that will probably come up in our Game of the Year discussions at the end of the year. I think so, yeah. This was definitely, it was one of the ones when I seen that it was, when it came to Apple Arcade, it was a game that I'd earmarked anyway uh, for the Switch. Yeah, yeah same. I, I, was, I, I was fully intending to buy it on Switch. I might yeah, still buy it on Switch, honestly. Yeah, N Nintendo, I think, had you, didn't they highlight it in one of their directs? Yeah, that was the first yeah. time I heard about it. Um, I'm going to do one more of these early levels, and then I'll do one of the later ones. So one of the weird things, even when, once you've played through the entire game and you get to the point where you can play it seamlessly as well, is it still does, you know, that kind of weird thing with the... Uh, this here was they appear on the card and stuff mm -hmm. and it break it breaks it just there's too much because you've got them spinning on the cards and then you've got them going to the locations it tells you the locations it just seems like it takes away from the game just that little bit too long yeah it takes i do too feel long like you the, to get back into it i feel like the album modes that lets you just play through it all seamlessly is enough of a fix for that for me see <laughs> i think there's it there's just too much of a little break in there as well. Yeah. Um, but like you say, it is it's minor. Yeah. I think any complaints we have about this game are really minor. So I like this level because you get a motorcycle. <laughs> oh god, I missed so, that. So that's what happens when you oh, die. I did that on purpose to show it. Uh, yeah. So very fast reloads. Right. So die a couple of times as well. In the same spot. Oh no, I've got it turned off already. Oh, have you? I know what you meant. Um, but yeah, when you die, the first time you die on the same spot a bunch of times, it pops up and says, hey, do you want to skip this? Um, but you can turn which it off my forever, answer would which I did. Be <laughs> so I didn't know that you could turn that off. I was just saying, no thanks, no thanks. Yeah, one of, one of the options says, don't ask me again. Ah, oh, of course. I did that. Right, let's jump to one of the later levels. So, if you're going to play this game, probably skip to wherever the timestamp and description says to skip. Because, yes. I mean, it's not going to be a major spot, it's going to be one level, but it's real cool. In terms of that uh, part where the game decides that you're not good enough for how hard it is, you always accept it cheating for you. <laughs> no. Always. There's, there's no joy in beating it without the cheat. Mike, what level do you think? Do you think this I, one? I, I think or, that one, yeah. I was going to say this one or the finger snapping one. But I like the other one. Uh, the, the other one's one, just got a cool aesthetic. Yeah, and the, the music is really good as well. Cool. What's that? Yeah, this is very late. This is like the second last section. And the whole of this level takes place on a VR headset on someone's face. Yeah, and it's just... Yeah, yeah. It's complete, and it comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, completely unexpected. What the...? This level's great. This game's great. Uh, yeah, it's a nice change in the, the soundtrack changes as well. It's, yeah, uh, it's very quite laid back, really good. Yeah, there's this level and oh. the level before this that's my, my favourite. The level before this is also very good. I died, so... I need to do it again. This is the absolutely wildest looking level I've ever seen. <laughs> it's great! <laughs> like the Philly 3D it's... model this person's head. And then it turns into sure. I'm not controlling yes. the shooting, I'm literally just controlling the movement. The shooting's like just all automatic. Yes, yeah. Uh, there is sometimes quick time event kind of things that... Oh, God. Oh, God. oh that's getting a bit scary. That's <laughs> <laughs> a bit hard to see. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I, I found that when I was playing on the iPad as well. Um, I thought it might have just been the adaptive oh light. Yeah, so I'm playing this on the Apple TV just now. 
all the stuff probably in this video will be Apple TV. Um, but all Apple Arcade games work on Apple TV to varying amounts. Because we'll take in our stab at it, but Paul and I tried to play Outland. Outlander, Outland, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Outlander, I think it is. Outlander, and that didn't work super well. I think it was just yeah. the tutorial though. Because the tutorial specifically asks you to zoom out. Mm -hmm. And you can't because it's already zoomed out on Apple TV because it has a bigger screen space. But I think yeah. after the tutorial it's fine. I found that on the the iPad as well. It wanted me to do the zoom in and zoom out and pinch. And uh -huh. I'd already did it, but it wanted me to do it more. And I couldn't figure out why. And oh, I weird. tried various comp but Yeah, um, I think it was just a genuine bug. Yeah. In my defense, this level is quite far in. Yeah. But this game's also not that hard. <laughs> so I don't actually have an excuse. <laughs> so uh, my kind of standard rating for all the levels was on uh, was bronze. I got silver it... for a lot of them. I, was, I got quite a few silvers, but I think if I'm honest, if honest with myself, I think it would... I would have to say that I got more bronzes than silvers. I think I got more silvers once I switched to controller at least. When I was using right. the touchscreen controls, I was definitely getting oh, bronze. Yeah. So that kind of like the first six levels, I was silver and then it was bronze. Um, but I should maybe play them, play the levels again as well. Yeah. I definitely re recommend trying it with controller more. Yes, yeah. yeah. I think it's... Controller on iPads, the way I played the first. I played the like, the touch controls aren't bad. It's just not... I, it's a game that's very clearly I've, designed with controller in mind. Yeah, I don't think I'd like to try this level with the touch controls. No, definitely not. And that's, like, one of my favourite levels in this game, so... Yeah. Uh, but then, when you, yeah, when you finish the game... I won't play it, because we did the first couple levels already. You have this album arcade... I mean, you get gold on everything, you get something. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm, I'm never going to find out what that is, I think. No. There's uh, Zodiac Riddles. I don't know what this is. So, I try... See, if you push the B, it kind I think it gives you the answer of what you need to do. Uh... No. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. But so. yeah, it's a good game. I recommend it. Yep. Whether you get it on here or Switch or what. That's yeah, it, it's just a nice change of pace. Oh, I got nothing on this one. Not even bronze. Oh, wow. That's, all these are silvers, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's a very good game. Definitely recommend it. Yep. Now we'll go on to the next game. So next up we have What the Golf, which is a golf game. I think they describe it as a golf game for people that don't like golf. <laughs> yeah. It's very good. I'll just go into the... They handily have this show to a friend mode. Oh, okay. What's that? It's just the first few levels of the game, basically. Oh, right. That's quite clever. So... I don't know how the controls work on a controller, so we'll figure this out. Oh god. Oh so, yeah. You blasted you hold. that one. Yeah, I don't know if I can not blast it. Yes. Uh, yeah, you hold the button and then let it go. Yeah, but it's not... You can really finesse it a bit more on the touch screen. Ah, uh, right. I, it very I played quickly it with the controller. Alright. Um, yeah, it's actually easier on the touchscreen, I would say. So we were doing the golf before. Then we're golfing this house. Home in one. <laughs> All in one. That's it. Ruin the joke. 
Oh, Hole come on, the joke, one. Was there. <laughs> the joke was there to see for everybody. <laughs> if you didn't see that before <laughs> it happened, then you're real dumb. Oh, this is one of my favorite levels. Uh, I like this one a lot. <laughs> so this is the whole kind of gist of the game. Is it has the very basic controls of you point and, you know, fill a bar like a golf game. In particular, like a really simple golf game, like a desert golf or something like that. There's a whole series of levels that basically borrow from that. Um, and then there's football. Oh god. All these fans. <laughs> oh yeah, the football levels you have to like dribble it around people. Which is smart. And it's just this little kind of like puzzle game. Oh, right. <laughs> God, I, 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 li I like this one. <laughs> it's very silly. <laughs> Spider <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, yay. I've not seen this one. So this show your friend mode pulls levels from all over the game. So I've, I've not yeah. done this one yet. No, I've not seen this one. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> See if it if it doesn't have a riff on that, the game that is taking the piss of the music, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> it has some. Big fine. Oh god, it's a portal. Oh, <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, nice. For <laughs> <For> science. science. <laughs> I need to play more of this. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> and then just driving a car. Um, so, the, did you guys see the one with the lamp? I don't no. remember. What's the lamp? Uh, driving range. Uh, sorry, not a lamp, the vase. The vase, and you got to try and get the vase. Oh, yeah, and it breaks. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> yeah, so there's definitely some actual difficulty in some of the levels. Especially, uh, I'll go into the actual story mode after this one. Um, but there's a lot of. Actually, I'm just really enjoying <laughs> seeing all of these mad life. <laughs> it's Never really mind good. the story modes. I'll go to the story mode though, because the story mode's like hub area is really cool. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, this one. Okay, so. This, you have this hub area that lets you go into different levels. And all levels are broken up into little kind of sections. Um, I don't... This section is specifically about explosives. This one over here, space. Let's go into the space ones. <laughs> so, generally there'll be a door at the other end that's like, hey, you need five to do this. I find this so hard to control on a controller. Oh, I see how finesse... Okay, I've got it. You hold the button and then you can use the stick to do it a bit better. Oh, really? I see. Yeah. Ah. I was just smacking it full force the whole time. Right. So you go into a level and it'll give you something like this. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I've not seen this. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Nailed it. Um, Space. And some of them, most of them are just one, but sometimes you get like this where it puts you into <clears> a couple <throat> in a row. <laughs> but then, once you've beat the level, you can go into it again. Oh my god, this. Most of them are not as hard to get into as this. Yes. And it'll yeah. unlock two other variations. Which are usually the more difficult ones. So this one, for example, I have a power of one. I'm definitely not going to get this. Uh, nope. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> um. Oh, 
Nope. So oh, close. Oh, oh. oh you right. need to get it in the gravity. I know. The gravity's not as strong as you would think it would be, though. Like, it seems to be strong enough for the other one. The other planet. Yeah. I'd go underneath instead of over the top. I don't think that'll work, but let's try it. No, I, that's as far as I can get it down. Fair enough. How about overshoot it and then it spins Did around it. the other planet and come that's back? perfect. <sighs> Leave with those jokes. They're so good. The humor in this game. Oh, wow. So now here's real gravity stuff. See as that moon comes round. It's bending my gravitational pull. <laughs> Let's just fire up in there. See where this goes. <clears throat> Great. Exactly <laughs> what I wanted. Oh, this is weird. So usually these last ones are just like more absurd variations. Yay. Oh, challenge. I get it. I get it. Challenge Challenger one. one. Uh, and that's basically what's the goal. Uh, what the goal? <coughs> it's a lot of that. You get stuff for, you know, on finishing all different versions of levels. Uh, I remember what this one is. But yeah, I really like that it just has that... Oh, it's this one. <laughs> this one's a pain in the ass. Um, I really like they have that just show a friend mode. Because it's very handy for, you know, showing to people. <laughs> and then, uh... Uh, what's the special version of this? Oh, it's just a harder one. You still went to the next one. Ugh. I don't think it specifically jumps to the next one either, see? Uh, I mean, there's got to be a pattern for you, win it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just skips that hole sometimes. But yeah, I think that's all we need to show from what the golf. But I really love this game. Go yeah, watch. it's. I haven't played too much of it yet. Uh, I played about half an hour of it today, and it's not too bad. It, it's good fun. Yeah, I played a decent amount of it. This isn't a huge amount though. Uh, but I've been doing all the variations of all levels. Like I've been getting the crowns on all levels, which I don't <laughs> think really unlocks anything. I just, I just like this game enough that I'm like, I want to see everything it can do. <laughs> I've not done this one up here, though. Um, but yeah, that's what the golf. It's really good. I recommend it. On to the next game. Cool. Okay. Next up, we have Many More Ways, which is making me do the tutorial again. How does this work on controller is the question. Let's find out <laughs> together. Because I've not played this Apple TV and it's making me do the, the whole tutorial. But so that, that's one of the weirdest things about the, oh the stuff on Apple Arcade is when you play it on your phone and then move to your iPad or Apple TV, it seems most of the games are not picking up that you've played them before and it takes you from... The, uh, through the it, tutorials again. Yeah, some of them some are of really them, good about it. Yeah, some are fine. Like Sayonara or Wild Hearts has been fine. Um, <clears> but yes, <throat> some of them are definitely like, hey, do it again. Yeah. Uh, many more ways is the new game from the Mini Metro people. Yes. Yes. And it's about building roads. Yeah, so instead of trains and commuters, it's uh, cars and commuters. houses and roads. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm bad at it, so this is going to be fun. Yeah, I'm really bad at it as well. This is uh, not how I meant to do this. <laughs> it, your roads kind of look how 
<laughs> as bad as mine do. I was trying to... This is a bit weird to control with the controller. Yeah, I was going to say, this looks awful. I'm making it grid-based, it's fine. Look at this beautiful grid. Yeah, grid base works until it starts getting busy, and then you're screwed. Yeah. Uh, let's connect up these blues. Oh, weird, you can't do, like, angles on this. Oh, whatever. On the touchscreen, it's pretty easy to make, like, corners. Yes, yeah. Uh, but it starts pretty slow, but then gets it ramps up. This is tutorial, so obviously it'll, it'll be pretty easy. I see, and that will probably mess up. Um, if you, so, the gist of how this works, I don't think I can stop timing this, um, I can do, turn on night mode though, um, the way this works is that these big buildings have car parks, and they have entrances to the car parks, which you can't change, so you have to build roads connecting to them, these houses have exits like this, but they will change to match the roads. Yeah, you can make them come out of any side you want. Yeah. Yeah. You smash them onto a road and it just rotates out. Like how houses work. Yes. And now you need to build a bridge. Uh, no, I don't have bridges yet. Oh, this is the one where it... Yeah, okay. I forgot the tutorial was annoying about this and made you build all the way around. Yeah. In which case it would have been probably better for me to have not rotated this. Because you can't like go through people's houses, unfortunately. No, but that would make life so much easier. <laughs> like Mini Metro, things start stacking up, and if too much, like, you know, pins in this case, uh, stack up, then you can. There you go. Uh, then you you lose basically. This timer starts. And if your rows get all clogged up, which they will. Then it'll be a mess. They will specifically if you start with a grid based system and then try to alt. <laughs> I think my highest is like 50 something days and 600 vehicles on the road. I think mine is pretty similar. I'll jump out of the tutorial in a minute and I'll and jump into a real game. It's brutally hard. But oh. yeah, this also introduces like bridges. Oh my god. These controls and controller are a bit iffy. Um, <laughs> So, now I can do this and build a bridge to here and connect this up here. That makes sense, right? I would have personally went up in between the two buildings. Yeah, maybe. And then delete all these. Because it uses less tiles. I've got loads of tiles, it's fine. It's tutorial. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, I think I failed the tutorial. Oh, really? The first time. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad. I didn't know that was possible. Um, it is. Yeah, and it introduced more colours as you go. Yeah, I never even got to I the can't red. just keep putting more houses on this road. Oh, well, let's keep going. And for penny, and for pound. Everyone, meet this road. This is going to be a disaster. That's this Great Western Road in Glasgow. Everything's on it. <laughs> yeah. But it's like Great Western Road in Glasgow if it was parallel to where you actually wanted to go. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. It's just, it's also here. It's a funnel. Don't design roads like this. But that one looks... It, it actually is starting to look a bit like a... a menorah? Those things you put the candles in? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and let's just connect all these up here. My great designs. No, oh, but this is an example of I don't need to do this. I do this and I'll rotate. Singular vein roads are the worst idea in this game. Nah, it's the best. No, you need to make like multiple vein roads. Like, nah, give every house a route and then an alternate route. Everything goes like this. So I can your roads get blocked as well? Yeah. Yes. Traffic on the roads, yeah. Yeah, all these cars will interact with each other. Right. 
And at the end of every week, which the week's about to end, you get additional road tiles. Get, and then you get to pick. And some kind of upgrade. Yeah, a traffic light or a bridge or something. Yeah. Traffic lights, never take them. They don't work. They're the worst They're thing bad. ever. They're bad. everything They're down. probably really good if you get far enough. But I've never They've got never far enough. been good enough. They've never done anything for me. So if I drag this onto... <laughs> what, even in real life? What would be the no. worst place to put this? There's Here? simply an annoyance in real life. Here? One of these Quite two possibly, yeah. I'll put this here. So it works like you'd expect the traffic right light to work. Right at someone's front door. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Someone must have that. What, a traffic so now all these cars out get of their own driveway? <laughs> yeah, there's a red light so you can't leave your driveway. <laughs> Uh, you Sorry, can thankfully... boss, I'm late for work because the red light in my driveway wouldn't change. <laughs> they wouldn't let me leave. Thankfully, you can also delete traffic lights again. Otherwise, that'd be... Again, my most solid advice if you intend oh to play this God, game, what's... traffic lights are trash. I'm doing corners in this game. And then do it straight up. There you go. Yeah. I delete you need to, that like... road that goes to nowhere. Uh huh? That road you just had there that went to nowhere. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. And then down, and then across. There you go. Yeah, you need to like... Uh, so, oh no. this is weird with the control. On, on touch, it's really easy just to drag to do that. But on the controller, I you need to like that, start it, do I'm this, and then controls. stop. Yeah. Sorry, what was that, Paul? Even using touch controls, I do the along and then stop so I can make it perfectly angular. I have none yeah. of this weird bendy corner crap. Like this, kind of. Uh, yeah, no, none of that. Perfect. This is. You know what? This guy can. This guy come this way. Oh, you mean <laughs> you're gonna run out of tiles? Oh no. It's fine. <laughs> it's Sunday. This guy can wait a day. <laughs> We're getting resources. <laughs> we did most of it. We just need to wait for shipments to come in. Oh, there I got you more go. Way. Hey, you got more way. There we go. Motorways are really handy. I, I am bad at this game. I don't know where to put motorways. Okay, so put one down in the location of the pinks and then drag it up towards that intersection where everything runs through from all the houses. Okay, so like here. Yes. Up to. Oh, I need to drag it. To yeah. like here? No, yeah, to there. And then that'll let all the pinks get on there really quickly I to guess get that over makes those sense. pink buildings. Oh, I don't have any bridges. This guy's fucked. I literally can't <laughs> build roads on this one. Oh, wait. There we go. You can, you can build straight up. There you go. Uh. I'm not going to have enough roads for this. No. Okay, now I can exit and do a real one. So you know all the pink cars are using the motorway. That's that's what you do. That's how it goes. Um, I don't have any save games or anything. But there's a bunch of like presets. Yeah. The kind of environment you're making. My favorite one is Beijing. Beijing's really easy to <clears> do. So is I've LA. only done the Los Angeles one so far. I'll try Beijing. Beijing's that's... really easy. Actually, can I see my points? 388 cars. Or points, I don't know. Like... Cars. Cars. Is it cars? That's, yeah, each vehicle is one point. Okay. There's different colours. Can back you to tell it. this is the one I've played the most of out of all? <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, I have games going on my iPad and my phone simultaneously. I have one bridge. I'm gonna do what you hate, but I'm gonna start this way. That's not that bad. I figured more houses will probably show up down here. I'm not gonna play much more of this, because I think we got the gist. Yep. I just want to kind of show how the actual game works because the tutorial, tutorial kind of simplifies it a little bit 
No much though. Also one of the hardest maps is Tokyo. I ain't try that. But yeah, this game gets really hard. Oh yeah, no, so if it pops up close to where a road is, it'll just connect up itself. Which is good. Um yeah, this game is as hard as Mini Metro, I think. I think it may be harder because I got a lot further in Mini Metro than I've ever done this. Yeah, <laughs> I might have, but I've not played as much of this yet. Um, Mini I like Metro, the, I like, like the you style, keep things separate. This makes all the cars use the same roads. Uh, I guess that's true to some degree. And I, I think that's fair because this one actually adds in can, like you need to deal with congestion. Mm -hmm. and that yeah, like see how that car there stopped for this one. Yeah, as a real life thing, if you were planning roads, you would have to deal with congestion. So yeah, it's kind of like um, what were the games that City Skylines devs made before it? Um, but all the games they made before City Skylines <clears throat> were like about designing public transport routes like bus routes and stuff yeah that's why the bus route planning in city skylines is amazing <laughs> yeah and it's why that when your city gets too big that's what breaks everything it's like oh no the traffic blocked everything so the week's about to end here so unlike the tutorial when the week ends here we should actually get a choice of what your reward is. Yeah, so we can either take a traffic light or a bridge. Bridge every time. Yeah. Um, but that's the gist of this game. I really like it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, yeah. My favourite of the games that is on Apple Arcade just now. It's definitely up there for me. Uh, and now we'll move on to the next one. So next up we have Cricket Through the Ages. Uh, yeah, this hopefully is... the audio gets recorded properly, because <laughs> it's essential. Yes, yeah, this is one of mine. So, imagine if you had a David Attenborough oh. type, and he somehow this. didn't know anything about cricket. Ten thousand years ago, and this is what you end up with. It is really, really funny. That guy was doing like a windmill kicks, like you'd see in a pit. Yeah. <laughs> Certain types of concerts. That's kind of what this T Rex did. So, so yeah. the invention of cricket. Yes. Then cricket was invented. Then cricket was invented. <laughs> also, sorry, you're hear a lot of clicking in this one. Because I need to use the Apple TV remote. Oh god. Which is bad. I'm never putting you on my team as a bowler, Kieran. <laughs> it's hard. I'm good at bowling in real life. Like in the baseball kind of baseball and cricket kind of <laughs> sense, not in the oh my god, actual bowling sense. What happened there? <laughs> I don't know what you did. I'm just gonna punch this T-Rex. Is that what the ashes actually is? It's the burned remains of a T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Been playing cricket since this time that definitely happened when there was cavemen against T-Rexes. Damn it! Oh! This is very hard so, to control. It's <laughs> just like a, a really weird physics game. And, and yeah. that has got the, the humour peppered in. It is... <laughs> but if I ever it's... do actually win this... I don't think I actually killed him. There we go. Uh, I'll... It'll move on to another time period. Ah! If I ever manage to. <laughs> the controls for T-Rex are just tapping over and over, that's why that sound. Yes. There you go, you've, this <laughs> you've eaten it. is so loud. Come on, get closer. No, just release it. Did it? <laughs> he tripped himself to death. <laughs> okay, now what? Oh, I've got a snake. Ugh, the timing on this is so bad. <laughs> so, as he gets to the back of his head, you can normally if you release it then. Okay. And then judge it from there. Oh, I see. 
Oh, now I've got it. Thanks, mate. You give there me you cheats. <laughs> oh, and I've lost it. <laughs> I hit his rock out of his hand. <laughs> oh, 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 we're, we're advancing. advancing. We're advancing to the North Sage. Oh, Thor's hammer was just a really good cricket bat. Not no, the, no, the, the hammer is actually the ball in this case. <laughs> a full dance they do. Uh, but it feels like it intentionally controls terribly. Yes, yeah. Um, it's very much like that, um, oh, what was the game, Quop? Quop, yes. It's not as advanced as Quop because you only have one button. No, but that's what the oh, physics kind of looks like. It kind of yeah, looks like yeah. Quop style physics. So the 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 story or the the, the narration, the history of cricket, that actually you know they, they use some of the bad controls. They, they write that into the jokes as well. It's just really well done. It's. I think it's the funniest game that's on arcade at the moment, and it is one of my favourites as well. It's just really, really silly. I'm liking it so far. Um, oh, and from the the two that I played from the, what the golf and cricket through the ages, I think cricket through my the ages is it's the funnier one. Uh, it doesn't have the legs because it's not yeah, that what, long. What, yeah. Also, what the golf is like an actual. Full puzzle game. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Not a sword anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. If you keep tap, yeah, just dance towards him, and you might kick him. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Oh, In 1877, the game was finally perfected and became humankind's most beloved pastime. Oh, actually, beloved. Cricket. Most beloved pastime. Yeah, right. In England. Most boring sport on planet Earth. <laughs> this is just like real cricket. <laughs> I would actually watch cricket if it was like this. Die! <laughs> it might honestly be more interesting. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, that looks like uh, X-rated cricket. <laughs> Again, if cricket was like this, I'd watch it. <laughs> Die! I think from just from this, you can see why it's. I think it is a brilliant game. Oh, I actually hit it. That was real cricket. Oh god, that was not real cricket. <laughs> that was real cricket. Oh, damn. Yes, this game's very silly and I like it. Turn that guy into a nice lolly. <laughs> Put a stick up his arms. Exactly. Die. <laughs> oh. I want to actually hit one. Hit him right in the face. Right re release it directly at the top. That's what you need to do. <laughs> and then you can bounce it back on their head. As the Earth's resources dwindled, humankind took cricket to the stars. Yeah, this one's quite. It gets very really tricky. This, is it? Oh, I have <laughs> yes. <laughs> wait for the rock. Wait for the count. Don't tap. Oh, I wait, tap, tap, it tap, said tap. tap at the side. Oh, you're tapping to straighten out. Okay. Yeah. This is probably better on a touchscreen. Uh, yeah, it's actually. Oh, jeez. It really turns quite fast. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> so this one took me like ages. Imagine. You can't really stop it. You just have to slow your. <laughs> How do you even get? But space travel proved to be expensive. Oh what? Oh you Was oh, humanity excellent. willing to pay the price? So uh, I like the choices as well. Of my feel. Give up on cricket, yes. Yeah. Give up on cricket. In real life I would give up on cricket. <laughs> Is there much more? Should I stop playing this? I think I think you should stop. Uh, okay. so you get the idea and then it, yeah. it builds on. Um, and it gets more, more and more ridiculous. I am going to finish this after we across the universe. Progress. Humanity. Yeah, and it cricket. gets more and more Continue ridiculous, and just a lot of fun as well. Oh cricket. <laughs> Why are they wearing the the um, mankinis? Yeah, I the don't know. The mankinis from Zardoz. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, that's what it will be. <laughs> it's definitely meant to be the Zardoz mankinis. I assume there's lightsabers at some point based on the title screen. Yes, yeah. Okay. That's Cricket Through the Ages. Alright, last up we have Dear Reader. A game of literary wordplay. I've seen this, but I've not actually played it yet. Yeah, right. I uh, I've actually played quite a bit of it. Uh, just a very clever little puzzle game. Uh, okay. Piece of cake. So people obviously won't be able to tell. Uh, these gaps up here, these blocks, I'm selecting words that fit into them. So it is a truth universally acknowledged. Yeah, it really requires you knowing your classic literature. Not really. It, it does. No. Let me figure out. Yeah, as, as long as you you basically read it in your your head before you get through to it, and it you know you want it. It yeah. needs to make sense. It's, yes. Uh, it does get a little bit tricky with things like Pride and Prejudice and some of the other books that you can choose later on, because some of them have, were written in a specific time period, so they would use words slightly different than we do at the moment. Um, but mm. then it helps. Is Prime, so, is Prime Prejudice in Victorian? I think uh, no, it, it's a no. That's Regency, wrong because it? it's set in Regency. Yeah. Well, this game's bullshit. Skip it. Well, <laughs> 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 to be fair, I think it is. I think it's American developers. Yeah. So we, could, you, I suppose you could maybe forgive them for that. But this is probably, quite a smart one. Because you can yes. see just from context that it goes into quotations, you know, into speech here. Yes. So you can tell, like, this first one is going to be the start of the speech. But also, it just makes sense if you read it out. Yes, yeah. Uh, Does this go through the whole books? It goes through, so there's 50 different uh, chunks from the chapters. Book. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, and they're normally, so if you have a look on the top right hand, it says two out of four. So it's how many pages are left for you to play. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Mr. Bennett made no answer. Do you not want to... No. No. Wait, yeah. Why did they give me an error? Oh, well. oh did you highlight the, the wrong I one? Must have, I must have highlighted them patiently. You want to tell blank, blank, blank. Have no blank to hearing it. Say it me. And I have no objection to hearing it. I've never read Pride and Bridges. My girlfriend. Same. Uh, I I showed it to Anne and yeah she she quite liked it she liked the idea of it but I think 
I think it's a bit too gamey, even if they've read the books and things. Yeah. Oh, rearrange things. Yes. That's going to be a pain in the ass. I can see this game very difficult. Yeah, so they, there's not only this, there's other things later on in the game where you're looking for spelling mistakes as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then you are you rearrange things, you swap things around yeah. as well. There's quite a lot of different puzzles. And, that last uh, puzzle was actually kind of weird as well. Because the last line was just a single letter starting the next sentence. Yes. Which is odd. So, yeah, sometimes you find that some of the puzzles are really easy. But the cool thing about the game as well is, see if you finish this chapter and you went and replayed it, it would be different. You would get a different puzzle. You wouldn't get the exact same puzzle. Yeah. Okay, so somewhat uh, randomised. Yes. Yeah. So as you get further on in the game and you unlock different books that you can play, uh, you unlock different types of puzzles as well. Okay. So it's... I quite like it. It has a daily challenge thing as well. So when you complete all these daily goals and these bonus goals and things, you can unlock books. The books change every Monday, I think it is. So I think at the, currently at the moment, you can the books that you can get are Victorian era uh, women's literature, I think it is, is the selection. And then it will change after a week. That's cool. Is this still tutorial stuff I'm doing? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm just wondering if it will let me see those menus that you're talking about that had like daily challenges. So. Right. Uh, I think maybe after this one. How can you be so tiresome? You must know what that I am thinking of his. His. Constance? marrying one of his marrying oh that makes sense I don't know why that didn't click in my head one of them uh, is that design and settling there we go So I think it's it's quite a gentle little puzzle game. It's really good. Yeah. It I definitely think nice. that if you knew the books, you would blitz through it. Yeah, so the... And we're half busy. listening to other people <laughs> and <laughs> trying to... T <laughs> reading and talking to people hard, as it turns out. Yes. <laughs> I'm busy playing through the Alice in Wonderland at the moment. Oh, that and sounds like a good choice. Yeah, you do find it a little bit easier as well. It's one of those games that has... Uh, it does have a soundtrack, but it's quite soft. Yeah, it's and, very... It's very yeah, so I'm not sure it'll even be really audible in the video. I turned it up when the, the I was playing it uh, the first time that I tried it. And immediately mm -hmm. turned down. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, it's so like, can, no, I, can put I'm, I'm reading, I don't need that. I'm not putting time limits on. Okay, so. So there you go, there's the. That's oh, your library can... that you have, that's the three books that you can pick at the moment. That's cool. And then if you go to the store. Brush, spend your hard earned ink on new books. Monday and Thursday. Yep. Love Trick on Mr. Hyde. Heart of Darkness. The Time Machine. Blind Box. <laughs> yep. And then you can I buy actual like stuff. <laughs> and then you can, yeah, you can actually buy proper stuff. That's great. And there's a bunch of like achievements and stuff. Yes, yeah. 
so th these will unlock books that you can then buy with your ink later on as well. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I assume so all the books you... are like public domain ones. Yes, yeah. So if you go onto the settings button, uh -huh. and uh, there we go, um, the curatorial. So it basically tells you a little bit of the why they created the game. That's quite nice. There's the credits. They all get their due. <laughs> no, I like this. I'm going to play more of this. Definitely more suited yeah. for phones than, like, this blown up on a TV. Yes, yeah. I I found it's okay on the iPad as well. Yeah, I bet. It's fine, but, man. yeah, it's yeah definitely not for sort of a, a console device, you know, on the TV. Books marked hard may be a bit more difficult, and expert maybe more so. This is an expert book. Let's fail at this. Select the requested word. It might be inside another word. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Find, Find side. side. Inside. That's oh wow. A good way that it might be inside another word, and that word is inside. So you find the devil. This is, actually isn't that bad in terms of one of them. Yeah. Because it's not... I actually don't know if I like this bit as much as rearranging the words. Yeah, I've, I've not seen this puzzle, so... Because I'm not really reading the text as much now. I'm kind of just skimming over for the word. Whereas I was yeah, actually um, reading it when I was, you know, doing it before. Yeah. Yeah, this is the first time that I'm actually not reading the passage. I'm just looking for the... The word, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not, you know, I like the other yeah. one. But it's nice that it has variation. Mm-hmm. I don't know what book this is. I don't even know. Did, was this the poetry book that you selected, or no? It was the Daily Challenge. Oh right. Oh yes. So it will give you a choice at the end of the puzzle for you to decide what book it was. Oh. Yeah, well, and you can get, you can get extra points. Aurora. I can figure this out. What we oh. uh, from? Oh. To rise from. No thanks, I'm uh, recording a podcast at the moment. <laughs> Sweet. It's never stopped you before. <laughs> with. Oh my god, we're only halfway through this. <laughs> uh, with. Glowing with Celestial. Oh, I see. That's because I'm not reading it. Maybe if I was reading it, it'd be easier. <laughs> Oh god, it is a long one, isn't it? It's five of eight. Uh, behold. Or reluctant, gold. reluctant is a bit of a stretch to be a puzzle. Alright. Three more. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to get to them so we can try to guess the thing. Yes, yeah. Leasing. Oh, pleasing. There we go. All oh, right. I, I, on the TV, it was hard to tell me that this top line was like not part of the grayed out ones. Ah, uh, right. It looks very similar on TV. So I didn't. I just kind of tuned that first line out. It was like, there's nothing here that says leasing. Uh. This is enter is in wait where's that? Where is it? Oh winter. 
Oh. Oh. It is actually kind of tricky. Because your brain just sees the wart. Damn. Uh, Tempest is quite hard. I don't know. Yeah. The flowing. One more. He so la. He's <laughs> he got it. What book? Hmm. Right, I can't see properly. I'm guessing it's the poems one, though. I probably guess the poems, but I don't know. What's the first book? The Life and Opinions of Tristram Shandy, Gentleman. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. And poems on various subjects, religious and moral. I would say it's that one that'd be my guess. Absolutely correct. We did it. Yeah, I feel like I would have recognised one of the other two. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we did it. Did the daily challenge. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'm going to play more of that. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Definitely. Uh, just a cute little game. Yeah. Um, and that's going to do it for this video. Cool. There's way more stuff on Apple Arcade. We just kind of wanted to show off some of our favourites. Um, Choo Choo Rock is also good. Yes, it is. I'll show that off. Yeah, we made another um, one, because there's a lot of games. Yeah, definitely. Uh, check out Sonic Racing as well. Uh, sa save £30 and try it on Apple Arcade. Yep. Yeah. Also worth checking out Grindstone as well. Yes, Grindstone's very good. We will probably do a second one of these with these games. <laughs> yes, I think so, yeah. Because we have enough of them. But these were just the ones that kind of stuck out a bit. Until next time. See you later. Bye. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm not good at this YouTube plan. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Ring that bell. I'm not just filling time to show our other recommended videos over the top of... That'd be silly. No, we wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's enough time. Bye, guys! See ya!